2023 has been all about experimenting with different gen AI techniques and methods. Before that, we had traditional AI methods, traditional AI models already existing. So in 2024, when we look into the new landscape, I envision that it'll be a lot about productionizing some of these gen AI methods and practices, and also augmenting with the existing traditional AI practices, methods, services, to bring out the most value out of the solution that has been created, the tech that has been built as well. But when you take this into production, one of the key factors to look into because of the nature of generative AI is governance. When I speak about governance, governance has three major pillars, starting with risk management, compliance management, and life cycle governance. These are the three main pillars. If you drill a little bit deeper, what does this comprise of? It comprises of model transparency and explainability, model validation, model risk validation, and compliance and AI regulations. To give you a brief idea as to how would this work in an industry setting, let's start with an example. One of these examples is something that I've been seeing day in and day out in my day-to-day -day life, where we are leveraging generative AI to do social media, Twitter sentiment analysis. So you have messages coming from different social media platforms. As you might know, what is the first thing that you do if you want to classify this particular tweet or message um, in using generative AI? The first thing that you do is utilize a prompt. What is the prompt? The prompt is an instruction that you give your large language model. You'll have different types of prompts depending on the different models and also on the different tests that you do on, the, on these models. These different models and prompts will be created by different teams, different people in those te teams, starting with data engineers, data scientists, solution architects. So you want to do some sort of life cycle management on it as well. The other thing when you have these different models, prompts, working, you want to be able to govern these different prompts. You want to make sure that you have the right metrics in place. And the metrics can vary based on your different use cases and also the different rules and acts in a particular state and a country. The metrics is one of the key features that a generative AI governance platform should have. You have to make sure that your model is fair, unbiased, the quality is pristine, are these metric reference metrics or are they reference tree metrics? Do you have a ground truth with it? So you have to make sure that a platform is created such to govern this particular um, use case that it makes sure that all these different metrics are evaluated properly. Then comes one of the key features, which is AI regulations. In our industry, in the data science world as well, you know, elsewhere, we have had different regulations starting from 2018 to 2024. Now, even more countries and different states have these regulations which are put in place. So now, a platform needs to be created which has a risk questionnaire that is this particular model or is this particular prompt compliant to this exact mandate, exact act, or let's say you have an internal mandate. You want to make sure you build it and embed that into your entire lifecycle management tool so that you can visualize all of these different techniques on one particular platform. Now you have these different steps, kind of overwhelms people. So you need something which kind of makes these workflows and automates these processes end to end. So you need a platform, service, whatever you call it, which takes all of these different steps into consideration. And when you create that, and you, you need to take a step back and understand what exactly should it comprise of. First of all, it needs to be open. Make sure all third-party models are being able to be monitored. You have different metrics, third-party metrics, different websites, different clients have their own metrics that they've defined as well. Make sure it's integrable. You have legacy systems and you want to be able to integrate these legacy systems with this pre-existing metrics or you will have these new metrics, new methods that you want to integrate on top of that. So always make sure that your 
different products that you create are backward forward compatible and one of the key aspects as we are on this topic of compliance is make sure it's compliance and it's compliant to all of these different techniques and acts and different uh, EUAI uh, platforms which are available now.